Hey everyone, welcome to a quick After Effects tutorial on how to slow down an After Effects project animation composition when you have a bunch of individual compositions added together. This is a question from Rolla on my Udemy Complete Adobe After Effects course. He has a project with 10 compositions and when he renders it out, it's actually too fast and sometimes that happens when you are previewing it and your computer's not fast enough to do a full RAM preview at real speed. And so what do you do instead of going into each composition editing all the keyframes and hoping that it works. Well, there's an easy way to slow down an entire composition called time remapping. And here I'm going to use this composition as an example. You can see here it's a big project I'm rendering out. You can see up above that it's not playing in real time. So it's going a lot slower than what it typically would. But if I do um, play it out when it does is rendered, you can see that it's a nice speed actually because this is how it was built, but say I want it to be slower. Say I want this entire project to be slower. You can see I have 17 layers of pre-comps in it and it doesn't necessarily have to be pre-comps. It could just be layers upon layers, all keyframed. What would you do? So what I would do is take this entire composition and put it within another new composition so that all of these layers are actually turned into one layer in the new composition. How, how do I do that easily? What I can do is find this composition. This one's called Render Me, but just take your composition that has all of your layers, all your pre-compositions in it, the one that you want to slow down, find that composition, and then just take it and drag it down into the composition window. What that will do is create a composition where all of our layers are in this one layer called a pre-comp. I'm just going to retitle this full comp. Okay, and now what we can do, we can scrub through this, we can see our entire composition. It's pretty blurry because I'm viewing this at half quality. But say, let's just take a portion of it. Let's just zoom in right here. You're going to right click this layer. You're going to go to time and click enable time remapping. What that does is you see there's a keyframe added at the beginning and the end. Now what you can do is decrease the time. So if I drag this last keyframe all the way to 10 seconds, basically what it's saying is squeeze all minute and 12 seconds or so of this composition and squeeze it into 10 seconds. And so that would be super duper fast, but that's not what we wanna do. We wanna slow down. So what we'll do is go to composition, composition settings, and we will increase the timing of this composition. Now, if you wanna double the time, you can do that. You can just do two minutes and 24 seconds, or 24 frames, or 24 seconds, that is. Or if you don't wanna double it, you can do a little bit more than a minute and 12 seconds. You can play around with it. But just hit OK. And now we can extend this composition like so, so we can see the full length of our composition. And now we can move this second keyframe to the very end. And then what we have to do is extend the layer to the end as well. Now what this actually did was it took the minute and 12 second composition and stretched it to two minutes and 24 seconds. So now if I render this out, it will be a lot slower. And you can see now it's playing right about real time and it's a lot slower. Now this is way too slow. I don't think this is as slow as I want. So maybe I'll move this back to maybe like a minute and 30 seconds. So a little bit slower than a minute and 12 seconds, but uh, not too slow. So let's render this out. Probably if I view it at quarter quality, it'll be even better. And even with this composition, because I have so many layers going on, uh, my RAM, my 16 gigabytes of RAM isn't fast enough for this to render out all the time. So let's just play through this when it renders out. So it's a lot slower, but it still has nice motion. And so maybe that's what you're looking for. So using time remapping, you can speed up and slow down entire compositions uh, in an easy way when you are completely done with an animation and you don't 
have to tweak individual parts of it. Like if I had to tweak the individual line, like this one line that's going across the frame, then I would have to go in and change those keyframes. But if you're slowing down an entire composition, an entire animation, you can use time remapping to do that. The other thing about time remapping though, is that this will work for motion graphics, but if you have video that you are using, it's not going to work as well because if you're using video and you're using time remapping and you're slowing it down a half speed, unless you shot at a higher frame rate, your video is going to start to look stuttery and it won't look good slowed down. So this is really more for if you're doing motion graphics with titles and text and photos and graphics. So anyways, I hope this answered your question. And for anyone else watching this tutorial, I hope this answered your questions as well. Please check out videoschoolonline.com for more great tutorials. And if you're interested in the Adobe After Effects Complete course and want to learn more on how to be a great After Effects motion graphics designer, check out the course in the link below. And thank you all for everyone who is a part of this course already. Have a great day and we'll see you in another tutorial.